All right, so how does an alias tag work? All right, so when you're making in Studio 5000 or RSLogix 5000, uh, what you have is a tag, uh, is a tag-based system, right? So it's no longer like a bit system like it used to be, uh, where it was just strictly like B3 or B, you know, like something like that, or, or in for integers or stuff like that. It's a tag-based system. So um, in that case, you can name the tag you're going to use in Studio 5000 or RSLogix 5000, and then you have the choice over here to make it a base tag or an alias tag. So what does an alias tag mean? Okay, so basically what the when you alias a bit or you alias a tag off another tag, the tag that is in alias four right here, this if as soon as this function happens, it's going to transition to that function, meaning they both coincide with each other. But the lead of it is going to be in our in the case that I'm showing right here is going to be the local three i data zero. Now that's going to be what makes the start underscore pb tag come on and go from a transition of a zero to a one. So just understand that when you're aliasing a tag, the reference it's referencing another tag, right? So basically this tag is being referenced is referencing this tag in this case uh, in the example I'm showing right here so um, just so you know um, and just kind of going back and kind of deleting the uh, description we had just so you know that gives that much more clarity to that so that's the kind of the reason why we do that but also to how that actually works so I want to make a quick little video to show that because again it's important to understand how an alias has worked and how to change it now you cannot change this while you're online you can only change this while you're offline so just keep that in mind uh, if you have to make that change and you want to alias something you have to be offline and then download it to the program or the PLC processor afterwards so that is how uh, the alias tag coincides and, and works with the regular tag so just keep in mind those are how those two work together and hopefully you learn a lot from that and we'll see you guys on the next one